Music going on. Excellent. I am so happy. Hmm? Okay, carry on, carry on. Let me have my kashai. Let me have my kashaya. <laughs> Yeah, let uh, Jyoti just settle down and then you can start the broadcast. I've started actually. So uh, we can edit it later. Okay. Namaste Jyoti ji. Namaste. Namaste to everyone. <coughs> I have a question before we begin. Like, uh, mm, am I going to see you all on the screen or not? Yes, yes. You will keep seeing uh, both of us. Uh, once you start, we will go on mute so that you know. If because if one of us uh, starts speaking or there is there is a louder noise from us, the camera will turn to us. So that's the reason we will go on mute. Okay. We can begin. श्रीनाथादि गुरुत्रय गणपति पीठत्रय भैरव वंदे गुरोर्मंडल टुडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग एट द सेकंड लेक्चर of the iconic meditation or pratikopasana and it's going to be a concluding lecture also on pratikopasana just to take a good link of what we shared in our last lecture and then give a good continuation we will just ponder over a few aspects of pratiko upasana <coughs> and then conclude it with the nidano upasana which is very central and significant to this uh, the ritual of puja or worship and how it transcends all the barriers and moves from the sthula to the sukshma and on to the para let's begin with the word puja there is one understanding of the word puja which is very interesting who and ja who is the syllable or the letter which stands for punarjanma being born again and again or the concept of rebirth 
who stands for punarjanma or rebirth and the other letter ja ja is that the power which makes you transcend this limitation of birth and rebirth so puja when it is coined it means you do that activity which takes you beyond this bondage of rebirth or the cycle of birth and rebirth so there are three levels of puja our shastra scriptures say that puja are the worship which is always supported by some desire or the other to achieve so we sit in front of god and do puja asking for so many things or keep so many demands before god oh god give me this give me that or free me from this problem so on and so forth the scripture say that that this is the adharma puja the lowest level are the form of worship the second one is the middle one where you have the desires of your own personal life but at the same time there is a flash of the desire to experience divinity also but the mind is oscillating and this is called madhyama puja but when the puja are the ritual of meditation or worship is done without these ulterior desires of the self and the only desire is the intense longing to experience divinity within one's own self is the supreme puja and it's very interesting to understand that this intense desire the intense intense longing to be united 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 with the divinity is something that the sadhaka has to understand contemplate on and ultimately realize so all his efforts have to be one pointed or gathered towards that point of self realization so ultimately the shri vidya practice also like the our vedas upanishads our entire vedantic tradition shri vidya also propagates or presents this ultimate truth for liberation so in our last lecture when we discussed about this pratikopasana the icon which is kept in front of us as a source of dharana that dharana starts as works as a symbol so that all our mental energies physical and emotional energies are directed gathered channelized towards that icon and since that icon is the one pointed object and since the mind has to be really focused on that dharana 
our ancestors and our scriptures have made elaborate arrangements and 